All right, I've had several people say that they were having some problems with this wave interference concept builder, so I'm gonna go through one question from each type so that you can see um, an example. So we're gonna start here for to construct or deconstruct. And I have wave one in red and wave two in blue are moving through the same medium and undergoing interference. They have different wavelengths, frequencies, and amplitudes. For the five labeled points, categorize each as being located where either constructive or destructive interference occurs. Remember, if they're both on the same side of this equilibrium point, then it's constructive. If one wave is above and one wave is below, it's destructive. So, A, the red part and the blue part are both on the same side of equilibrium, so that's constructive. B, the red part is below, the, B part, uh, the blue part is above, so that's destructive. C, blue is above, red is below, that's destructive. D, red is above, blue is below, that's destructive. For E, red is below and blue is below, so they're both below, they're gonna add together, and that's E. So remember, it's kind of like positive and negative numbers. If you have two positive numbers, you're gonna get a bigger positive number. If you have two negative numbers, you're gonna get a bigger negative number. But if you have a positive number and a negative number, it's gonna end up somewhere in between. All right, so let's now go and do one from the second part, principles of super, uh, superposition. So wave one in red and wave two in blue are undergoing interference. The displacement of the medium at each location depends on the individual displacements of the two waves at that location. For the three labeled locations, determine the nearest estimate of the resulting displacement of the medium. Each small square is 0.1 meters along its edge. So for A, we have negative 0.1, negative 0.2, almost negative 0.3. And for the blue wave, we have positive 0.1, positive 0.2, positive 0.3. So we have to take positive 0.3 minus 0.12, minus 0.25. So that would give us a positive 0.5, I think. Point oh five. Let's try that one because it's basically three minus two and a half. For B, we have, oh, A is right here, sorry. It's not right on there, so yeah, uh, I was right. It's, it's positive three minus one, two, three, so it should really be zero. B is negative three and negative three, so that's negative six. C is just to the left of this line, so that's positive two plus positive four, which is then positive six. Let's see how I did. All right. So let's do the third type, okay, so we have two waves undergoing interference. You have to determine the shape of the resultant wave or the wave sum. To begin, drag each gray dot downward to the height of the resultant would have for that horizontal location along the medium. Ugh, that's a mouthful. So here we've got zero plus zero, which is zero. Here we have one, two, two and a half and one and a half. So that means I have to take this two and a half and subtract one and a half from it. Because this is basically positive two and a half plus negative one and a half. So then here we have one, two, three, four positive and two negative. So we'll have to do two positive. Here we have three positive and one and a half negative. 
So we'll have to take away one and a half. Here we have zero plus zero. Here we have to take away one and a half from the bottom. So that's about right there. Then we have to take away two, one and a half again, and zero. And this purple wave shows what the wave would actually look like if the blue wave and the red wave interacted. The blue wave and the red wave would not actually show. What would show would be this purple wave. All right, guys, I hope that helped.